Well, hey friends and neighbors, this is Chuck out at Sheraton Park Farms. Welcome back to the farm. So, we're getting a little bit of rain today, and I'm actually glad. Um, I know I typically fuss about the rain because it's been so muddy, but uh, we got a big project going on today that the rain is actually going to uh, be beneficial. So, stick around with us for a little while, and uh, let's uh, tap our inner pyromaniac just a little bit. Hang out with us. All right, so here's what we're going to try to burn. This is a brush pile. We've been working on this for about a year now. I think we burned it about a year ago. This is, these are old garden boxes. It's just brush, limbs, leaf debris, parts of trees um, that we've cut down, some old pallets. Um, that's all it is. There's no caustic chemicals in here. There's no metal. Well, there may be a little bit of metal from, you know, screws and nails and that kind of stuff the old building we tore down so we're gonna torch this see if we can get it going it's just now starting to drizzle a little bit um it's pretty dry there may be a little stuff in there that's kind of green but for the most part it's dry i've got the tractor here with the box blade so if we need to cut some lines and all you know scrape around some stuff and clear some area we should be fine there are there are some leaves over here that are dry I've got a water hose right up here at the house. We can pull it down here real quick. So this, this should be fairly safe. There are some big trees here behind. There's been a fire under them before. Um, they really need to come down anyway because they're getting old and diseased and that kind of stuff. But uh, this should be fine, shouldn't be a big deal. Um, I bought one of these torches, the Hot Max Big Max. I got this thing at uh, Rural King the other night, so it just goes right on our um, LP tank. So we'll get that plugged up and uh, see if we can get her started. Um, also, real quick, what, what causes this thing to burn as well as it does? There used to be an old building here, an old packing house that I think they used for tobacco. Had a basement under it. So we have a ditch line that comes out and goes in and this creates a little bit of a natural flu effect. So we get some air draft up and under there. And when we burnt here in the past, she goes and she goes good. So let's get this hot max thing hooked up. Um, see if we can get her started. No diesel, we're not using any gasoline, any diesel, any kerosene, anything like that. It should be dry. If we need to put a little diesel on it, we can, but I don't want to do that. Um, but let's just see how it goes. Instructions. Who needs instructions? I think I'm going to go down there. See if I can get her. Going from down yonder, too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's put the uh, let's put the bucket on. The big max, no assembly required. Ain't no doubt about that. Man, that thing worked great. I mean, she she got her started quick, fast, and in a hurry. Yeah, it it serves its intended purpose. No doubt about that. So our timing has ended up being just right. It's just it's just now starting to sprinkle a little bit of rain, and everything's so wet around here anyway. We'd had eh, we'd had probably a week without any rain, but it's just it, everything just been so wet. So I'm really not very worried about it. And again, it's a pretty safe area. It can't go very far. Got the driveway on one side. Got some bare ground on the other. You know, it's got that ditch line in the back. So I think we're I think we're gonna be just fine. And instructions. Have not blow yourself up. 
I guess it's how to not blow yourself up. I didn't read them. So we got quite a bit of mass gone out of it. Um, took the tractor, kind of pushed some stuff in from the side to consolidate. Tried to pick a coolish spot uh, instead of getting right where it was the hottest because of the hydraulic lines and stuff on the tractor. And certainly didn't waste any time getting in there and getting that stuff pushed around. But you can see the mass has greatly decreased on this thing. It's all falling down into the pit now. I'd feel comfortable, still raining a little bit, I'd feel comfortable walking away from it and just letting it go for a while. And that's probably what we're gonna do, um, is just let it, let it sit here and smolder and just continue to burn down. But this worked out great. I mean, this was exactly what we had in mind. Um, still some stuff back here in the back. It'll, all this will fall down and the fire will kind of push its way back this way and it'll burn all this up. It's just gonna take a little while. This will burn for a couple days probably. It'll be hot. So we're about two and a half hours in now. Um, a lot of the mass on this is now gone. Um, and you can see it's really, it's burned way down in there. So I think this is a successful little deal here. Um, burned up pretty good. Not much of it left. So this thing's been cooking about eight hours now we started at about nine this morning it's right at five now so um you can see i mean there's just it's really condensed down uh we still got a pretty good hot spot right over here um that's still pretty hot and all and then we've got you know there's a there's a pretty good sized mass of stuff over here um this will continue to burn for a couple days i think um because there's, you know, there's some hot stuff in here and this will just continue to smolder for a little while, which is perfectly fine. Um, but as you can see, I mean, this, it really is more apparent now at what kind of hole this is. Um, and it was more of a pit than just a bunch of stuff that was heaped up up here on top of the ground. And as it burned down, it just fell in. It worked out, worked out really good. So it was, it was very safe to do it here. Raining today, we've had, gosh, we probably had an inch of rain today. So that's kept it, um, certainly kept it um, moist, kept the ground around and everything moist. So not had any issues with it, but it's just one of the chores that you gotta do on a farm. You know, as you're clearing land, you're clearing space out, you gotta have, uh, you gotta have a place to burn your brush um, and get rid of that stuff if you don't have a chipper. We did have a chipper in the past, but man, that thing was, it was small and it was just a lot of work. And you know, I can get guys to bring me in loads of wood chips at a time which is you know maybe a waste of the carbon that we've got here but it certainly saves us a bunch of time so that's how we safely burn a brush pile around here we've got a pit we make sure that it's nice and damp um, grounds cleared around so that we don't catch anything any grass or anything on fire out around the edge of the pit and uh, pretty safe way to do it we had a big fire we had a real big fire that but that was a big pile there was a lot of mass in there that old building that we tore down um, was in there there's some trees that we cut down, some area that we cleared out over here. Um, so we had a we had a lot of stuff in there. So if you want to see where we tore that building down, I'm gonna post a link to that video up here so you can check that out. We pushed a building over with uh, with the tractor back in spring. So check that out. Hey, if you've not subscribed, hit that subscribe button, give us the thumbs up. We appreciate y'all watching. We'll see you on the next video. Thanks.